All right, uh, welcome. I'm going to play a new game, uh, Banished. I'm turning. I'm taking this to hard level. So, uh, uh, the object of this game is to uh, take your new settlers who have never, um, they they've never. I guess what the the idea is, they've they've just got kicked out of their, their former town. So you've got a few people with some skills to help you start your town, but you're really left into the woods to fend for yourself on your own. Um, so it's a great game. It's an indie game. And uh, it was created by one guy, uh, which is really remarkable because uh, uh, just the amount of depth that actually goes into this game. Now, I've actually been able to get uh, a pretty lively town up to about 200 or so people. And then it usually hits that point where I can't, uh, it doesn't self-sustain uh, for one reason or another. So let me just um, go into full screen here. So let's resume the game. Now, first thing you want to do, when you start the game is uh, is pause because you need to get a lay of the land and it put me in a really bad spot oh boy uh, the other thing you want to do is make sure that your um, you have these really important windows that is used to uh, you know you want to see what's going on around you a map is good uh, gives you an idea of your professions Uh, also, your resource limits. I always put it just a zero beside everything because I don't know why they. Yeah. Well, you don't need a hundred or five hundred clothes, but uh, you probably need a hundred fifty. Yeah. Uh, it, it, so what happens is is you hit these these hard limits and then they stop working, and you're like, well, you know, I want to sell stuff. Um, okay, so that seems pretty good. What I want to do first is uh, I definitely need to start a resource gathering area so I'm gonna I'm gonna gather here and the first thing I want to do is uh, let's see okay I'm going to put a gatherer crop field no gatherers hut all right hit T or whatever you have it bound to to rotate around and then I just give it you know an an area where they can gather food and it's really great these these uh, gatherers huts because what they do is uh, yeah, they, they gather berries and mushrooms and all that stuff and you can use all that stuff for for your brewery as well okay next thing I want to do is uh, in order to sustain this economy I need to oh no not this one I need uh, I need a forester forester lodge now what these guys are going to do is they're going to keep your uh, trees planted all around that area. So I put one of those there and then finally I put down a hunting lodge. Just like that. Okay, so now I've got three things there. Uh, and I'm going to build a little road. Just like that. And then like that. Okay, uh, that's good. So now they've got a place to, um, uh, something to do. Uh, next thing I want to do is get houses built. Now, some people say, uh, get wooden houses. Mm -mm. Wooden houses catch on fire, y'all. So you want to make sure you have stone houses. And yeah, I know I hear different things. And this is a very risky uh, move, especially at the starting game. But it's early spring. I definitely need them to, uh, to start working right away. Okay, so close that, close that. I'm going to pause these. I want to only work on one at a time. Okay, so finally, we want a barn to store all this stuff. And I'm, I'm just going to encroach a little bit on uh, my my territory there. That's fine. This, this little bubble of uh, forestry, that's okay. As close as possible to the gatherer's hut, but not too close, because you want to keep this preserved just for uh, for gathering. Okay, and then finally, I'm just going to build a little uh, four by four stockpile, and now I'm going to get two builders going, and then I'm going to unpause. Okay, so now you see the little they're going to start working away. Um, 
let's see how much resources do I actually have I have no bricks I have some tools so the other thing I want to start planning is um, is for a blacksmith okay so to do that I'm just gonna gather all the stone and I'm gonna gather all the iron I can okay and they're just gonna go and do their thing I'm gonna speed this up a little bit but uh, one thing I'm warning you you don't want it to be um, too fast because this can really get away from you fast if you're not uh, aware of what's of what's happening around you okay so I got some wood going um, they're gonna slowly start building okay they've already started the uh, storage barn that's good okay uh, hunting cabin is almost there I'm gonna make sure the priority is set uh, for the gatherer so to do that you just go to priority increase priority and you just do that and that'll make sure that they they uh, focus on just the gatherer because we're gonna need food right away so we're almost out of food um, we're very close to being out of iron Okay, they're going to get some food and come back. You can zoom in on these guys too and see what they're doing. So she's hungry. She's going to get something to eat. Fair enough. Okay, that's being done. As soon as that's complete, I'm going to sign two gatherers. Right away so that they can start foraging. Uh, the hunting cabin's next. And I want the Forester Lodge to start working right away, too. So now what's this going to do is going to generate some income because we could take those logs that they cut and we could sell them. We could trade them. And I'm close to a major riverway here uh, so that they, the traders will come. And unfortunately, I got this stupid lake here. I'm just going to have to deal with that. That's fine. I mean, it is what it is. What I probably will do is move into this area uh, very, very, very quickly. So how are we doing? Okay, our, our forest lodge is almost done. Which is good. Okay, I'm going to have to make a blacksmith here. Because if I don't have a blacksmith, then I'm going to run out of tools really quickly. And I've, I'm already getting a little bit low. Okay. Uh, okay. Blacksmith, where are you? There we are. And I'm going to pause that for now. All right. Um, also going to increase the gatherers because... We're getting a little bit low on food. Well, what happens is um, the, the houses will actually grab a big stockpile of food and firewood and fill up the house. Uh, okay, so now we're already getting into late autumn. Uh, temperature's dipping down. So unless I can finish these um, these houses right away, I'm going to start losing people. But at least I have, you know, at least I have one family that's out of the cold. And what's actually going to happen is um, these other citizens... Are going to use that house when they get cold they could just pop in get warm and then continue on so actually what, what i'm going to do right now uh, i'm going to start another road here um uh, and then i'm going to block out some more houses but i'm not gonna i'm gonna pause these okay i kind of like to pre-plan my uh, my my town. Okay, and then I'm going to build um, a wood cutter. Oh, can't put it there. All right. So I mean, I, I've I've heard um, that it can be it can be tricky if um, it, it, like if you put industrial places next to houses that they're 
their productivity and, and building you know building families will go down which may be the case I don't know I've always just had it like this so and I haven't really noticed anything but you know if you maybe just for aesthetics reasons you want to move your your industrial areas away from your residential areas too but because I'm kind of stuck in this little peninsula you know I I have to kind of live with it so okay how's everybody else doing okay all right I'm getting worried now <laughs> okay so actually you know the nice thing about this is if you can survive the first winter it's pretty much good to go after that I mean now obviously I have random events turned on so anything can happen but for the most part um, I've got nine families five kids it, things are looking pretty good now now I want to start thinking about expansion and so what I'm gonna do see it's gonna be tricky to build a bridge this side because we've got uh, two hills hill here I might be able to go from here to here but um, I think what I'll do is just I'm just gonna keep growing out this little uh, uh, gathering nodes I'll build one just south here too and then just uh, pile that with some uh, there's tons of resources here Wow yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that as soon as possible. Now I don't want to stretch out too much right now because I still I'm still missing houses. And uh, what I'm waiting for, um, what I'm waiting for is uh is is some more uh some more stones right now. Okay. Yeah, I can harvest some wood. Uh, I was thinking about doing that just that just here. Uh, but right now, um, until I can get some more uh, laborers, it's just I'm, I'm waiting for them to get, finish gathering some stone and some iron. I think we're doing pretty good on. Okay, so as soon as they get some stone and uh, I finish the barn, then uh, and then I think I'll clear out this forest up here. All right, so I got a woodcutter. Almost done. All right, let's think about growth. Um, it's a nice area here for mining, open pit mining. Uh, all this will just gonna is just gonna be for resource nodes, uh, early game stuff. Uh, I'm gonna use turn this all into forest so I can sell f um, firewood for for uh, for pretty good money. And here I might turn this into some cattle areas. Uh, probably not enough room. I think I'm gonna keep all this area just for uh, my main um, uh, uh, city. So I'll put city hall and stuff in here. Uh, here I think I'm gonna turn all this into agriculture. So yeah, this looks pretty good for. I mean, it's it's reasonably flat, lots of hills, but. I think it'd be pretty good. Uh, so probably what I'll do is I'll build a bridge here. Here, I don't know if I can build anything here, but you definitely want to have some ease of uh, passageways here. I'll, I'll I'll build it here, a bridge here, and then start off, um, do some farming and some uh, some herding. Okay, so how are we doing for blacksmith? Okay, almost done. Now this is starting to get to the point where you really uh, it's it's turning into mic macro management. So you got to make sure everybody has the right amount of tools. You got to make sure uh, everybody has the right amount of food because this could really quickly go south. Even though everything seems to be doing pretty good, um, if the ecosystem doesn't have it, if it requires everything to be working perfectly in order to to grow. And if you lose one thing, for example. Um, you don't have enough tools, then you can't gather um, uh, oh, trees, and you can't, you know, you can't uh, get mushrooms, and you can't get other things, and that's the thing that's going to keep your your city growing. So right now, the problem is we have a storage problem, uh, but that'll be resolved once I uh, once I build the trading post here. 
All right, so now I have a training post, and I can throw in some firewood. I always want to keep a supply of about 200 firewood. Later on, um, I'm going to increase that to 2,000 because I want to get seeds and, uh, yeah, stuff for um, stuff for harvesting. Because on hard mode, I think you only get one set of seeds, and I don't know what that is yet until I actually... Until I actually build um, a farm. My reserve of food is low. No, it's not. Alright, well, as soon as this merchant comes, uh, I'm going to show you how that works. If the merchant comes. There he is. There he comes. Let's follow him. Hey, guy. Man, look at him row. What do you got for me? Huh? What do you got? <laughs> oh, I can hear my uh, town approaching. And here we are. Boop. Alright, what has he got? Cattle! Nice! Right away. That is fantastic. Okay, so... Uh, what do I need? Okay, total... I want... At least two, because they need to mate. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, that's fine. Trade for that. And now I'm going to make an order. Let me just pause. Oops, let me just pause this. Resume. Uh, all right, I want to make an order for sheep and chickens. Uh, just once. So the next time this guy comes... He's going to bring that stuff, so... Oh, I canceled that trade. Oh, well, the value of firewood's gone up, so that's good. Alright. So now, I have cattle. So they're going to clear all that out for me. And then, I can... Once it's done, I'll, uh, I'll get those cows going. And once we get cows, we can get uh, uh, leather, as well as, um, oh, of course, beef, which is always good. This is kind of cool when they flatten the earth. Bit of terraforming here. Nice. So the next thing I want is... And, um, they're going to keep populating this with uh, firewood. Uh, but when a next tra trader comes, I'm going to want to get seeds so I can start uh, doing farming. Now, farming, I am not a huge fan of. Uh, but you need farming to do certain things like, um, you know, if you want to get a brewery. Uh, you know, that's one thing. But really, it's not very efficient for, for gathering food. The best way of gathering food is with gatherers. But people want a mix of, of different types of food, so so there you go. And plus I think you get a achievement for getting all the seeds, so Okay, well that's all I'm gonna show you guys today. Um so that's banished and uh that's a fun game. It really is a fun game now. And now everything seems to be all great. Everything's working good, but you know, there's a lot of things that kind of mix things up. It's like there's fires, there's natural disasters, there's flooding. Um, it's a it's a very micromanagement uh, economic when you get to a very large population. Now, um, actually, I just lost someone. Someone died uh, because I had 39 of 29. Yep, gatherer died of old age. I don't know. Uh, so that's the thing. Like now, I'm going to start losing people due to old age, and uh, it's just part of the process, obviously. Uh, but um, but yeah, um, if you don't have enough tools, if you don't have enough um, clothes, these are all things that can just destroy your economy, and then inevitably everything collapses. And it happens so fast that uh, you don't know <laughs> you don't know what's happening. But uh, but anyway, yeah, it's give it a shot. It's banished. Um, it's on Steam. I think it was on the Steam sale for I want to say fourteen dollars. 
Uh, right now, I think it's 19 but if you wait for a sale, it's definitely worth it. Or not. I mean, it's I, I'd pay $20 for this game for sure. It's it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm Danny J. Um, just take a look at uh, thebackspace.ca for all of our uh, latest videos and podcasts. And uh, we're going to stream uh, more live uh, on Twitch TV. So thanks for watching.